What's going on, Everdog Man Dan here? Fortnite. All right, playing a little Fortnite in the background. What I want to do here is I want to talk about the upcoming news, basically for December, some of the stuff that the devs are now talking about, the future of the Save the World or the uh, PvE side of the game. Um, talking about uh, some of the things that we're expecting to come here in December, okay, for the update in December. So. Uh, a lot of suggestions, a lot of feedback, of course, always going on. So this is what we're basically going to address here in the, uh, in this video. So talking about RNG, um, everything is RNG gated, including heroes that we play. Uh, when you finally do get something decent, RNG determines your bonus stats as well. So you have RNG llamas, you have RNG loot from llamas, you have RNG bonus random stats on loot. Uh, you get the whole thing. So they're going to deliver some features that ease that feeling and increase the reward choices, if you will. Uh, they're going to add more quests, more storm rewards for evolution ingredients, and more activities that allow you to get what you want. And so some of the things that we can expect um, here, first we're going to have event currency store. So you'll be able to purchase uh, event-specific items, with event currency uh, during some events. Uh, you can go to the event vendor and spend your currency on event items or even event llamas. That's going to be coming in December. So it's going to be a little less RNG based. You're going to be able to basically choose what you want to get as far as I'm reading it from the event vendor, whatever the vendor is holding. Um, Hero Rarity Evolution, this will be interesting. The goal is to give you the ability to evolve heroes into greater rarities. So this means that you'll be able to take a hero and gradually level them up to an orange uh, legendary hero. Uh, and then that's, of course, that's going to be coming in December. Um, so here's, here's kind of what they're saying about the clarity here. So uh, you've just played around for two hours, which is happens all the time. Uh, you get in-game stuff, but out of game, what the hell is going on? I'm, I am literally so confused and I don't understand. Collecting survivors, how to change characters, how to use weapons, a llama gave me. It's utterly confusing and, and there was some watching uh, and just people get lost, basically. New players, very lost. I've put a couple things out myself personally, but I really could stand to put out some more how-to stuff to help others out. Uh, and basically what they're saying is they need to clarify, they need to uh, remake the UI and the UX easier for people to understand. The goal is uh, that when you get your loot you should be crystal clear about what you can do with it and, and that's it. And obviously there's definitely some rough spots. So some of the things that they're going to expect or we're expecting from this is accessing your inventory from anywhere. Okay, so one of the popular requests um, and they're building it in. It's going to uh, the game as fast as you can to get in, access your loot anytime, anywhere. That's going to be coming in December. Uh, examples would be when you were given rewards, you couldn't easily inspect them. You may not have known what level or what happened to cool weapons you just earned after the looting spree. Uh, this is bad on so many different levels. Okay, so then we're talking about collecting stuff. You'll want better ways to manage your schematics, your survivors, items, and so forth. Uh, the first step is context-sensitive menus that allow you to save time when adding those to your collection book, leveling up cards, or even evolutions. So going through the Rolodex of menus to your favorite items shouldn't be a hassle, uh, and that's we're going to see some kind of collection stuff changes. Uh, of course, in December. Now, the quest map, um, as you know, you should uh, you, you know you should be able to go anywhere and play whatever you want. Uh, and we want you to be able to easily examine your quest, figure out how to complete them, and see what loot you'll receive. So the ability to select and examine future quests so you can plan for them better is a specific example of what they see playing out. And that will probably be something that we'll see more in January. Um, another big thing uh, seems to be repetitiveness. Well, I mean, every game has repetitiveness at some point, right? I mean, every game does. Uh, one of the complaints is that people get bored after a while in-game because it does get repetitive early on. Uh, the first few dozen hours, the missions that you do, 
the several mission types, the rescue, the survival, the destroy, campments, atlas, retrieve data, ride the lightning. You do them over and over and over and over. Uh, as Fortnite grows, they want to evolve and polish all their stuff. Um, so you used to like the survival, the challenge, the horde, those things. They want to keep growing them and making them better. And they also want to give you new and exciting experiences. So they're planning on introducing things like mini bosses into the game. So in terms of mini bosses, we'll see these new baddies uh, in different parts of the game. And they will spice up the gameplay with a variety of new behaviors. Uh, they want to add flavor to your basic encounters and shake up a moment to moment battles. Uh, this gets us one step closer to true boss creatures. And this is something that they're going to introduce in December, the mini bosses. Uh, and how it plays out, we shall see. Uh, with the game being unfinished, which means progression is relatively pointless, you can enjoy the game equally as much at all power levels. Now what they're saying here is that once you get to about 60 plus hours in the game, the quests become more procedural. Uh, and you'll be continuing building the story during campaign, as well as offering events and more competitive experiences for endgame content. Now I am way past 60 plus hours. And I'm only partially through my Plankerton stuff because I've been so involved in all these events that have happened over the past three months that I just haven't actually gotten into the main portion of the game. So, but as you get farther in, there's more stuff. So they want to be able to change that. So in survival version two, if you will, uh, the events, uh, they want the events to give you things that you care about when you're just starting out or you're... Uh, powering through endgame content. It, you've helped us with the survive mode to be better and a lot of suggestions. So giving you the ability to vote like skip days was one popular request uh, we'll be putting into the next round of survival which will be coming in December. So if you remember Survive the Storm it was very long because we sat around during the daytime during the daytime uh, points and some of those you could have easily skipped once you were ready. Uh, you know, once you were prepared with stuff, you could have gotten through the Survive the Storm a bit better. So that's something that we're going to see happen, which is awesome. Uh, the initial uh, step down of the path of addressing some of the top concerns, and it's something that they're going to continue to do. You can expect more communication discussions uh, on the direction and things that are happening. They've, we've sent as a community hundreds of thousands of suggestions, advice. It takes a lot of time to go through everything and kind of determine what is good, what is not good, what may work, what may not work. So uh, I would say just keep sending the stuff in. It's been awesome. They have, you can definitely tell the difference uh, as they do take these suggestions and ramp them into the game. Um, you can definitely tell some of the good stuff, some of the bad stuff. Events are always a challenge because you're always trying to figure out what's the best way to make it work for as many people as possible. Is it boring? Is it not boring? Is it too grindy? Is it not too grindy? You know, all that stuff. So, But that's just some of the things that um, they're, they're kind of telling us right now. So most of these things we're going to see coming in the December update. we got a couple of things in here that will be coming out in the January update. And I will definitely be talking more about those as I get more information. If you have any comments or questions, please do leave them below. Otherwise, I will talk to you soon. Thanks for tuning in.